the parking lot. I can see. That would be a good idea. Anybody yes. want to pick that up? There should be one. I'll find the link. Thank you, Tanya. So questions, uh, anything you've seen today? Mike. You're on mute. Yeah. Hey, Mark from Stack HPC. Are, are you there? Yeah, I think he had to leave, actually. OK. You'll want to find him directly. Yeah, he, he did mention that they were they were swamped this week, so we may not see him much. Yeah, I was going to ask him if his his arc, his primary pulp server and his test server were like a single server or if they were like a cluster. Yeah, no idea. We'll have to find him online. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he didn't mention. Other questions? Is everybody having fun? Yeah. Crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if there are no questions, then um, I'm good to let folk go a little early. I don't have a question as much as an idea. Um, and there's a lot of users. This is user focused time, so I figured um, to share it now. Uh, I've been observing recently um, that we've had no traffic on the mailing lists for quite a while. And um, oh, I think there's Mark from HPC, Stack HPC now. So we can come back to the question. Um, so uh, the question that I've been asking myself is like, when is the right time to retire the mailing lists and, and kind of fully convert to uh, discourse? And that's, a, I think, an important community growth step. So I'm kind of um, I guess asking if that time is soon. Friday. <laughs> is, that, is that actually a thing? No, I just came up with that date. But okay, it's cool. when PulpCon is going to end, you know. I think the last, uh, the last I'm looking at Pulp List right now, um, the last message that was sent by someone who doesn't actively work on Pulp was on July 29th which says something for how quiet the list has been. Yeah, and I've also seen postings from the active users on that mailing list now on Discourse. Exactly um, right. So, so, OK, cool. Maybe, maybe send out like a final mailing list that just oh, has definitely. a to uh, what we use now. <laughs> exactly so. Exactly yeah, so. Definitely. definitely. Um, cool. So what I will do is post on Discourse about a thread of coordinating the end of life of the mailing list. Mm -hmm. And um, I can do that. And then we can make those announcements and things coordinated through that um, that thread, that, which yep. is, I think, a great idea. And point the list at that thread, and that'll, that'll probably shake out the last few people. That's a fine idea, Brian. All right, very good. Very Let's go good. back to Mike's question. Fine. Sorry, somebody had, somebody had a question there, and I missed who it was? Well, Mark um, spoke up, I think. And maybe just the mailing list. We are end of life in Pulp 2. Maybe the mailing list can have the same date for convenience. There we go. Uh, something to bring up in the discourse thread, yeah? That's fine. That's the end of this month. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good with me. I was proposing end of week. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mark, thanks for joining back. Um, Mike had a question about your setup. Mike, can you repeat your question? Yep. So you mentioned that ARC is like your primary pulp deployment, and you have like a test pulp deployment. Are these mm. single servers, or are they clusters? They're both single servers. Gotcha. Great. Yeah. And how many so, uh, how many workers do you have on there, and how many uh, content API processes do you know off the top of your head? Um, I, I don't actually, um, manage the pulp server myself. My colleague does that. Shall I try and get him on the call? Um, I think he'd be uh, interested to, to discuss. Yeah, there's, um, there's a thread option for the content, I think, and, but there isn't a, it's single process for content and API. I was just curious. I yeah. mean, uh, we have recently started collecting some telemetry metrics and so we're going to, we, um, are going to get to you know 
find out about this information. So I was just trying to uh, ask you the same thing that we as a community are trying to learn. I, I actually I think it's um, two workers. Um, yeah. yeah. OK. If that makes sense. Great. Um, yep. wait, I've got the config public, I think. I could share it. Yeah. 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 That would be really helpful. So part, be of, okay. part of what a, um, yes, thank I you. have a session tomorrow on running um, pulp in production. And what it's, I mean, like long story short, what we're going to try to do is create a working group um, that's going to kick off tomorrow and kind of be announced officially tomorrow. Uh, to have folks who are running pulp in production share their information. So like these kind of configs that you're talking about are exactly those kinds of things um, that I'm hoping a lot of different uh, production users can uh, can be sharing. So yeah, if you have a link to that, that would be super helpful to me. I'm afraid it's private. Um, I can dig out the useful parts if that helps. Um, yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, we're happy to share information on what we've got. We haven't done a huge amount of tuning on it, to be honest. Um, we probably do need to do a round of of tuning. I think we kind of just set it up using the pulp installer and thought, well, let's see how it goes like this. Um, we've tweaked a few things, but we're probably at the point now where we need to revisit and say, work out what's working and what's not. Yeah, so what I would like is um, definitely some some of those configs if you're able to share them. But what I really would like is um, to have you all join the working group um, kind of as is interesting to you. Like um, you're talking about wanting to maybe revisit to make sure that your settings are tuned correctly and make sure that your performance is where you want it to be. And those are like this exact kind of um, topics and focuses of, of this working group. So. Um, I don't really know how to get a hold of you over time, but maybe other people do. Are you in the channel? And it sounds like we need your coworker really to yeah um, join this working group. If uh, yeah, I think he would be keen. Interested. Um, he is m dash bull on GitHub, and um, oh cool, yeah, you We've might have seen him around. Um, yep. yeah, we can. Um, happy to join that. Um. I'm on Discourse as well. So um, if there's cool. discussion on going on there, then I, maybe if you ping me, I can um, I can follow it. Cool. That sounds good. And really, I mean, it's I'm like asking for something, but I, really its purpose is to serve um, your interest, actually, to make sure that kind of you're getting as quickly to your um, production goals and with best practices as possible. So that would be great. I can follow up in terms of like connecting you with the Discourse and things. Um, the session that I'm going to be talking more about this tomorrow is called Operating Pulp in Production. Yeah, so that one looks um, looks useful. I think we'll um, we'll definitely attend that one. Okay. And uh, speaking of uh, performance, uh, I would like to ask you a few questions, Mark, as well. Um, the slide of the container plugin, you've listed there a few issues which you haven't really digged into. Uh, some of the errors which you shared might be because of the performance tuning need. I've seen some timeout issue. Right. Yeah. The container ones. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, um, those in particular. Yeah. But please. Yeah, it definitely feels like there's some, something not because, quite right there. File issues because if we don't see them filed, we will not have any chance to address them. And it's good that you sort of work around it with the Red Tree uh, Docker push but it still doesn't solve like the issue if we have any issue on our side. So yep. please file issues. Yeah, I mean, we generally do. Just um, you know, time gets in the way. Oh, we, we try to anyway. Um, there are a lot of issues to file. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we work with OpenStack, so yeah. <laughs> always... Oh. always things to uh, to fix. Thanks so much, Mark. That's great. Um, do we have any other questions this morning, folks? Um, I can just take a sec to mention, in case there are any Catello users here, since we were talking about telemetry before, um, for Catello 4.7, since it popped up so quickly, um, well, not really, more like on us, uh, the, the telemetry stuff, um, 
there is a, a few users had some concerns. So we're having the pulp telemetry in Catello be opt sorry opt in, um, but we've added full installer support to it. Um, so I want to let people know about that. So you can turn it on um, if you have no issues with it. And in the future, we would really like to figure out some way to advertise it clearly to people. Um, it's just a bit funky trying to figure out how to do that with a with the installer as it is, um, but perhaps in our documentation at least. That's great, Ian. Thank you. You're speaking for pulp. Pulp would love to have every pulp instance sending telemetry home because it teaches us a lot about how people actually use the project. However, we are wildly aware of how sensitive people are about sending data about their actual systems outside. Um, so there's a lot of thought in the telemetry project about, about transparency and being able to look at all the data before it goes anywhere and turn it on and turn it off. Um, but it'd be great if we could get more more uh, systems sending us that data, because that really will start helping us figure out where our problems are and where we need to focus our attention. And there's a whole working group for that, too. And if you want to be involved, please do. We have we have at least one community member that is a regular contributor there. Other questions? Following up on that. Briefly, Grant, do you um, feel that that telemetry data from Catello users is as valuable uh, as it is from uh, direct pulp users? And, um, it, you know, is, is it possible that you have other ways of learning what Catello usage of, of pulp looks like? So I can't. I'm going to answer first, but I'm sure any, anybody else wants to uh, chip in here, please do. Um, so first of all, Catello's use of pulp is a perfectly valid and a large use of pulp. You might have Catello in front of it, but it's still your, your pulp instance. Um, I don't think there's any, there's, you know, I can't think of any way we can get any, we get any information currently about Catello's use of pulp specifically. And, um, what I think would be interesting was to add to the telemetry where Pulp knows that it's being used on behalf of Catello or on behalf of, um, I don't know, say Rui, which is a Red Hat product that uses Pulp as its backend, that that would be part of the telemetry so you know what environment it, uh, it was operating in. Um, but right now, just knowing that, the, that there's a pulp, there are Pulp instances out there that are running, you know, which versions and, and how many workers and stuff tells us things about actual use of Pulp, even if it's a, a back end to something else that's a little closer to users. That's entirely my two cents, by the way. So that is not officially supported Red Hat or Pulp. It's just Grant. <laughs> <laughs> no, that all makes sense. Yeah, and I think I can see where you're going with that, William, since a lot of Catel users kind of hit hit the minimum requirements that we recommend, and that's what their server is running. But the upstream community can do all sorts of funky configurations. I'm sure I haven't heard all of them. But or maybe or the massive ones might be interesting too, right? Um, so I, I could see where that would be helpful. Yeah, I think they're maybe likely to reconfigure some uh, worker counts timeouts. Um, I don't know how much support our installer has for um, lots of customizations beyond that right now. You know, I think it's still useful information if we end up, you know, six months from now after, after telemetry has been out for a while and we have a lot more systems reporting home. Um, to know that 90% of Pulp's install base is running some set of defaults. Um, that's useful because among other things, it tells us we need to be really careful about the defaults because a lot of people just turn the thing on and walk away and it would be really good if it didn't break when that happened, so. I think we have a long outstanding task to revise the defaults and see whether these are the good ones or maybe we need to tweak them. Them. Absolutely. Because, because otherwise, if we 
end up like 80% of folks tuning them, it means that these are not good defaults. That's a really good observation. It hadn't even occurred to me. Thank you. Other questions? Uh, one thing I am going to say before we go, hang on, hang on, I got to find the link. I just, and instead of finding a link, I just closed the link. On your, uh, on the uh, main schedule page, there is a link for the poll that we would like people to answer for us um, as part of uh, the feedback poll. Uh, as part of having been here at PulpCon, I'm going to drop it again into the chat. Um, if you're going to be here for all of PulpCon, you can wait till the end and fill it out. If you're only going to be here for one day after you've come and, and have gotten what you've gotten and are leaving, please fill out the feedback form because we would really like to know what people uh, liked best, what didn't work, what they would like to see more of. It'll help us guide the next pulp cons that we do. So your feedback is really, really valuable. Content, okay, very cool. Thank you, Mark and Chris, both for your uh, your plugs in the chat there. No problem. Will All right. Then, will the videos be posted somewhere? I'd quite like to see that first one that I missed. Uh, the answer right, is yes, definitely. but I don't We will care. post it. Yes, we will post it on our YouTube channel, and uh, we definitely will post post it on like links to that on Discord. So I think you are quite active user of Discord. At least I was able to reach you there. So um, yeah, we'll post Great. it there. Matthias. Yeah. Um, so Chris, you just posted that you have two thousand workers. So um, assuming this is honest, uh, my question is: Are they running on the same installation, or is this a summary of multiple installations? And as a second question, why that number? There was a joke. Ah, uh, okay. It was I, a joke. All right. Oh man, I was all going to be excited about a two thousand worker pulp instance not reporting bugs every day. So thank I you. For my current <laughs> supercomputer to come, and then I'll run it. That's right. All your sinks are going going straight to non-spinning, you know, cutting edge disks. And okay. Any other questions, folks? We have uh, three minutes left in our scheduled time for this morning. Or evening. As the case may be, thank you. I've been really good about that, except that one time. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, yeah, about that, if you want to add your, uh, add maybe UTC to your waiting slide, that would be nice. OK, I can do that. Thank you. I can do that. All right, gang, I am going to call us done for the morning. Uh, Daniel, if you can stop recording.